Meanwhile, Mobile Police making a quick arrest in the vandalizing of a downtown monument. Detectives telling Fox 10 News the Admiral Raphael Sims statue was spray painted either late last night or sometime early this morning. The suspect now behind bars. Fox 10 News reporter Toy Thornton now live at the statue. And Toy, it has been cleaned up. Yeah, it has, Byron. Take a look. Workers pressure washed the base of this monument earlier today. And again, as you said, Mobile Police had made a quick arrest. Take a listen. As a suspect was being taken to Metro Jail, he basically confesses to the crime. We vandalized the monument? Yes. A confession from 20-year-old Mitchell Bond suspected of doing this to a nearly 120-year-old statue, a Confederate monument in downtown Mobile. Yeah, the, the idea is that people understand is that uh, we will look, we will use every means necessary to make sure we ad identify those individuals in our community that, community that are committing crimes uh, against uh, peace and good order. The defacing of the Admiral Raphael Sims monument stirring emotions. It makes me feel sick. It really does. It's defacing public property and a monument. Um, I just don't, it's criminal behavior. The statue itself um, is, is an inadequate representation um, of the history. David Teufel says he's a native of Mobilian and it hurts to see things that mean so much defaced. Disagree peacefully, that's what our system's all about. It's not then to destroy something or deface something. No, I'm not for that at all. I don't care what your anger is, I'm angry now. But I'm not going to go down and find something that's dear to somebody else and deface it and destroy it because I'm angry. Now, in terms of moving this statue, city spokesperson George Talbot says it has to be a collaborative effort. And he says they are listening to the community's voice as a part of this process. Personally, I would take them down. I would just take them down. Um, I think that they could be replaced by statues that um, that, rep, that are more representative of what happened. And then it's a signal of rage, and rage is a signal of pain. Pain is a signal of having been wounded. So whoever did it um, had something to say. Now, Matisse tells us they don't know why Bond decided to do this to the monument. When asked why he believes this is a continuation of the protest from the other day, he, he referred me to Bond's Facebook page. Reporting live from downtown Mobile, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.